All right, following the story for SABC News, uh, Sophie McGuena, SABC's foreign editor. Very good evening to you, Sophie. Thanks for your time indeed. So confirmation here at least that the Prime Minister has had a sit-down with police pertaining to this investigation. Yes, we are told that this happened at his office today uh, uh, where he was able to perhaps uh, communicate with the police, but uh, it's not clear yet whether he had to answer the questions around the allegations on the assassination of uh, the former first lady or they were just discussing procedures how to handle this matter but also what transpired today the attorney general Hai Pofolo wrote a letter to the commissioner of police almost intimidating the police asking questions why they want to question the prime minister saying that uh, when the commissioner uh, was in court a few weeks ago the commissioner made it clear that uh, the prime minister is a suspect and therefore perhaps there's conflict of interest. He can't now come and account to the police. But uh, I think the commissioner was very strategic by not handling this case, leaving it to the deputy commissioner of police. And it's scary yeah. because you know that uh, previously Lesotho, in terms of instability, it's a country that has experienced lots of instability. And at that time, or during those days, you'll see police taking sites and the military taking side. But since the discussion around the reforms, uh, the security cluster made a commitment yeah. uh, to the, dep the former Deputy Chief Justice of South Africa, uh, Dikhang Moseneke, mm -hmm. that uh, they will respect the rule of law and the constitution. They will not interfere in politics and civil matters and therefore they are at the barracks. Mm. This does create a conundrum for uh, Prime Minister Tom Tabane. His wife is believed to be on the run. Is there any indication where she is at this stage and whether at a later stage she will report to police to give her side of the story? It is not clear yet whether she will avail herself. She's still on the run. We don't know where she is. Maybe the Prime Minister behind since he was able yeah. to share some light. She might still be at the State House. We don't know. Or she is in South Africa. Some are saying it might be Lady Brand, mm -hmm. Fixbeck, some are saying Midrand because they do have a house here in Johannesburg. Mm. Sophie, I mean, um, looking at uh, what we've also seen, there were protests uh, in that country today. A petition, uh, those protests are specifically wanting the Prime Minister to come and receive that petition. That did not happen. Talk to us a bit about that because we're looking at a situation where there's political infighting within uh, Tom Tabani's party and now you have him wanting to step down. Has this now all of a sudden been fueled uh, by the current situation that he finds himself in? Yes, Christelda, you know that uh uh, earlier on or last year there was a serious uh, division between him and uh, the deputy leader of the party, the ABC. And therefore you know that when you have uh, some standoff people do take sides and also use the opportunity to express their views. Therefore, you have uh, a march uh, disguised as ordinary basutu, but uh, politicians are involved because the opposition parties, they want him out. Some section of uh, his own party want him out. He has made a commitment that he is ready to retire, but they must mm -hmm. uh, start the process in parliament because they problem yeah. here there's no provision mm -hmm. in terms of what needs to happen when a prime minister uh, take a decision to to retire yes or else the whole cabinet must step down and fresh elections and they are trying to come up with a new act mm -hmm. that will uh, make that possible for him to retire but still have a cabinet where you are just going to replace the Prime Minister and the new Deputy Prime Minister yeah. perhaps. But the problem is the current Deputy Prime Minister is a member of an opposition, not mm. ABC. Therefore mm. within ABC they feel that uh, the person who's going to take over should be a person from the ABC and yeah. therefore it's a very difficult one. Very difficult situation, but I'm sure you'll keep tabs on that for us. Uh, Sophie Mugwena, SABC foreign editor on Prime Minister of Lesotho, Tom Tabane, questioned by the police in that country pertaining to the investigation, of course, into the assassination of his uh, former wife, Dipulelo Tabane, in 2017.